We've got your back tonight in New Haven after parents are left wondering where to bring their kids after a daycare shut down without any warning. Can you imagine? News H Josh Scheinblum went digging for answers. He joins us live tonight from New Haven. Josh, what'd you find out? And in Darren, if you believe if you believe the New Haven School District, we're in the final days of one of their education programs, the Early Childhood Early Childhood Learning Center, which takes place here over at Emanuel Baptist School, will be closing on June 30th. In its place, district officials say they're going to be moving kids into what they call community partner programs. Now, it's news that parents who have kids that participate in the current program tell us that it's caught them by surprise and now they're looking for answers. In a statement sent to us from a spokesperson with the school district, in part it reads, quote, the decision to transition to community-based early childhood care providers has both financial and educational reasons. Financially, the program requires a high number of staff for a relatively small number of students, and it was not sustainable in the short or long term. While the change will create almost half a million dollars of annual savings for the district, the goal is to also transition care of infants and toddlers to long-time community partners that specialize in providing that kind of care so that the district can focus on pre-K and kindergarten. But parents say it's an excuse that they're finding unacceptable. We need somewhere to take our kids during the day while we're working. It's expensive for us to live, you know, so we need, a, we need our jobs. So we need somewhere to put our ki kids. I don't care about expense. They gave us a list of other um, daycares we can put them in. I did my homework, and none of them have opened until August and September. So what do we do for them? But earlier today, we also talked to the superintendent of New Haven, and what he's telling us is apparently different than what parents are. We're having individual meetings with each family, um, so we've uh, been in contact with all the providers who, pro who offer the same kind of services. We've identified seats in each of those providers and we're counseling each family individually around what may be the best option for them. The Early Childhood Learning Center currently supervises some 32 infants and toddlers. And right now, parents say they're in the stages of trying to fight back. Right here behind me, they are actually organizing what they're calling a parent list, the first stage of creating a petition before they go to the school board to lobby with their hopes of making the, making the, the decision to shut down this program not happen. For now, we're live in New Haven. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.